Genesis chapter 32. Oh. Shouldn't take up long to find Genesis. First book of the Bible. Set to your feet in respect for the word of God if you can. Boy. Genesis chapter 37. I told you 32? Yeah. Well, give me five more and go to 37. Okay. <laughs> mm. Genesis chapter 37. It's a familiar text. You really don't even need a Bible for this. As soon as you see what it is, you're going to know it. Genesis chapter 37 and begin at verse 3. When you find Genesis 37 and 3, say, uh huh. Uh huh. You're looking to wait on me. We're together. I sent out a text um, and I sent out a Facebook status that I wanted to talk to all the dreamers today. Uh, I, I'm going to preach to, to the procrastinators next Sunday, but let me just preach to the movers and shakers today. So if you're moving and shaker, this is, this is for you. Genesis 37, look at verse 3. It says, Now Israel loved Joseph more than all of his children because he was a son of his old age. Also, watch this, he made a coat of many colors. But when his brothers saw that his father loved him more than all of his brothers, watch this, they hated him and they could not speak peaceably to him. Verse 5, and I'm finished. Now Joseph had a dream. Somebody say, I had a dream. I had a dream. Yeah, and he told it to his brothers and they hated him even more. Can you say amen? amen? That's enough. You can be seated and let your stand forever. Look back at verse 5 because that's what I want to build this song around for the next uh, 16 minutes. It says, now Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers and they hated him even more. Now Joseph had a dream and they hated him even more. Joseph had a dream, told it to his brothers and they hated him even more. I'm going to talk for a moment from the subject, what happened to your dream? Right. What happened to your dream? Just ask your neighbor, what happened to your dream? What happened to your dream? Uh -huh. they, they ain't never had a dream. I don't care how they talk. Find just one more real quick and ask, what happened to your dream? 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 Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, whenever Big man, I hear the name Dr. Martin Luther King. All right, One of the first things, Sabrina, that comes to my mind is a speech entitled, I, I, I Have a Dream. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. In August 28, 1963, you remember he stood in Lincoln Memorial and told the whole world about this fantastic dream that he had. All right. All right. Carwell, his dream was that one day his four little children would one day live in a nation where they would not be judged by the color of their skin, but they'd be judged based on the content of their character. Right. His dream, his dream kill was that one day that this nation would rise up and live to its creed that all men are created equal. All right. It was mama, it was a wonderful dream. It was a wonderful dream. That's why I could not understand, as wonderful as that dream was, why people hated him for his dream. All right, come on. Mm, Y'all ain't gonna talk. And, and the reality of the matter is, it didn't even have to come to pass to provoke haters. All right. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, just the mention of the dream uh -huh. created haters. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I better tell you, before I go any further in this illustration of process, that be careful when you start to announce the details of your dream. Yeah. Because whether you know it or not, when you announce the details of your dream, you sign up for haters. Y'all ain't gonna talk now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it doesn't even have to be, it doesn't even have to come to pass. Man. And the truth of the matter is, here's what I found out, Tony. If at all possible, it's good to just be silent and do your thing and, and let your thing speak for you. Y'all ain't gonna talk. But, but, but the moment you decide to open up your mouth and announce what you've been dreaming about, you sign up for some more haters. Come on, talk. Yet. Doesn't even, you don't even have to buy the building. You don't even have to own the house. You don't even have to own the 
ministry. You don't even have to have the license in your hand. But, but, but the moment you start telling people about what you believe God's going to do in your, come on here. You might as well get ready because angels are coming for you. Yeah. You ain't even got nothing yet. You just talking about what you want to have. And folk can't stand you. What you going to do when I really get what you can't stand me? Come on. Mm, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. King had a dream. And I understand that because of that dream, they bombed the man's house. But because of his dream, he got thrown in jail. But because the man had a dream, people would spit on him and hit him and beat him. And ultimately, it was that dream that got him killed in Memphis, Tennessee. But can I suggest to you, ladies and gentlemen, that they stopped the dream early. Mm, but they could not stop the dream. Come on, talk to me. I want to preach to some people in this room. I don't know where you are, but I want to preach to some people in this room that's got some dreams that are bigger than where you are right now. Let me help you. Let me help you real quick. Don't make the mistake of thinking. Listen to me. Don't make the mistake of thinking that just because you're happy about your dream, that other folks are going to be just as happy as you are. Come on, talk. I mean, this ain't nothing spiritual. No, no, some people get joy out of you having sorrow. Some people ain't happy to you say. Some people get a kick out of raining on your. Come on now. God, yeah. Some people ain't happy until you're down. And, and you keep asking for prayer partners, but you got to understand that not everybody is praying for you. Some folks are praying on you. Yeah. You wonder why it's so hard you can't get ahead. Talking to the wrong people, and they've been praying. Mm -hmm. But I think what I tell you, don't you let nobody, uh, don't you let nothing stop your dream. Don't you let tough times stop your dream. Don't you let the lack of money stop your dream. Don't you let fake friends and fake family members stop your dream. Because he that has begun a good work in you shall provide me some help in this house. Would you just help both of them and tell them this shield gonna happen? Come on, come on, tell them this shield gonna happen. I know it's tough now, but it's still gonna happen. I know y'all laughing at me now, but it's still gonna happen. Why? 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 Why, why do you think it's still gonna happen? Say it now. Here's why I know it's gonna happen. Because what God. For me, I need some help. It is for me. It is. And folk might not like it, but it is for me. Yeah. Folk might look at you nasty when you come in church, but, but just keep right on walking. Oh, it is for, for, for me. And, and, and I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Some of you, you said, Joe, I, I understand. And what you're saying is sounding real good. But how? To my dream, Jones, when I'm in a jacked up situation. That's a real, real. That's, that's a good sermon. I swear it is. Come on. But the reality is, mm -hmm. I'm in a jacked up situation. So, how am I going to go after it in this situation? Well, well here's my answer to you. It's very simple. Here's my answer. Let even we grow in the good. We'll get I said, even weeds grow in the gutter. You understand when we talk about weeds, weeds have a determination to grow. I said, weeds have a determination to grow. That no matter where they are, and so if you look, you'll find weeds in the gutter, and you'll find weeds in a junkyard. You, you even find weeds growing up through a crack in the sidewalk. Whatever that's the smallest opening, a weed is determined. I'm coming up, y'all. Y'all ain't on top. The same weed you pulled out will grow again. Can I, can I get some folks that got some weed determination? No matter where I am, I'm still going to grow. So if you put me in a rough place, I'll still grow. If you put me in a hard place, I'll still grow. I tell my enemies, you might cut me down. But don't you stop watching me, because the minute you walk away and look back, Cause you cut me down and you thought cause you cut me off it was all over but you did not know I've got a baby kids anointing we don't die we multiply and you knock me down today but tomorrow I'm gonna be stronger than I was
Amen. 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 People who secretly get a kick out of seeing you down. What they don't know who is, it's in your DNA to go down. But it's in that same DNA. Yeah, you know, you know, do you not know who my big brother is? Yeah. My big brother was a dude they called Jesus. And he went down and stayed for three days. Yeah. Oh, God help me, Jesus. I just see somebody that's got some big back up in your spirit. That the devil knocks you down. 